Hey guys, welcome back. I just finished doing this really bright eye. Um, I joke about it during the video that I look like I'm going to a gender reveal party or I'm a walking gender reveal party, I guess is better. It's like, is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it a boy? Oh well, these colors spoke to me. I'm really excited for you guys to see some of the new products that I use and to get my reviews on them. So if you wanna know just what products I used and the colors and everything that it took to make this look, then stay tuned. So let's start. I um, have primed my face already. I just used my back light priming filter primer filter primer filter primer filter uh, primer. I'm really excited to use this new foundation. Um, Jamie Genevieve, who you guys have heard me talk about is one of my favorite um, YouTubers tried this on her channel. It is the Total Control Drop Foundation um, from NYX. And she is like in love with it, apparently. She really liked it. So I was, I mean, NYX, it's a drugstore brand. So I had no problem going out and picking that up um, to try. Also, I have a new Beauty Blender. It's not made by Beauty Blender, but it's a sponge that's bigger than mini size. So that makes me happy. So I'm going to get that out to use. Look, it's a real like human size one. I'm gonna go ahead and just shake this up because it's really super liquidy. That's what I have seen. I really have not tried this at all except to just test it out for the color, but I have just seen that this is already kind of liquidy. But you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself as I typically do. That's just what I seem to do. And considering my eye makeup is gonna be a little crazy, not, not crazy, but just a little bit darker and a little different than I'm used to doing, I really need to get my eyes primed and do all that fun stuff first. So I started to, you guys, I started to organize my makeup on the suggestion of my husband. And he's right, my makeup is always kind of crazy and everywhere and I can't find stuff and I'm already always so disorganized that having disorganized stuff on top of that is just not smart. So I started to organize my makeup. And for those of you that are kind of disorganized like me, do you sympathize with me saying that when you organize your stuff, you almost like are worse off? It's kind of the way it's feeling. Like my stuff, I'm trying to organize better in tubs and containers and stuff. And now I almost feel like I'm like discombobulated from being organized, you guys. I'm such a mess. Okay, so I've got my primer out, I'm gonna prime, but I wanna show you the palette that I'm gonna work with today. If you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and all that stuff, if you don't, there are ways to do that um, in the description box. I've listed all the ways to find me on social media. But I was talking about this palette, the Ultimate Vivid Brights by NYX. Check this out, you guys. I mean, it's I'm having a difficult time like getting the glare off of it but look at how pretty all of these colors are. I'm really, really looking forward to tapping into this. Also heard another person, um, another YouTuber, and I don't remember which one, um, talking about just how great the um, the NYX palettes have been and how really they, they're they absolutely giving Drugstore a new name. And I was looking forward to trying this. So I'm gonna swatch a few of them first because I really don't know what color I wanna use yet. Um, So you guys, it has some gorgeous reds. Um, Mostly, I mean, really all cool toned for the most part. A couple of warmer tone colors, but really just a perfect rainbow palette of lots of cool tone, really pretty colors. So, um, gosh, I feel like this purple right here is really speaking to me. So I just want to, ooh, it feels really creamy, you guys. Check that out. That is some pigment. I'm gonna swatch this on my hand. That is really, really gorgeous. Let's see what this teal looks like. I'm just going in on this one teal color here. That's another pretty one. I'm not a great swatch artist, you guys, but that that's really nice. I'm definitely looking at this, getting ideas. I'm not sure yet, but you can see really pretty colors. I don't have any palettes like that that have really bright colors, so I was super excited to get it and more excited that I got it at a great price. I mean, NYX is not expensive, you guys. We're not talking about like Natasha Denona here or anything. Let's go ahead and get my lids primed. And I'm actually gonna do it with a beauty blender. Do my brows real quick, guys. All right, now that I've got those suckers on, they are bright and thick and large and in charge. My brows. Let's play with this palette, shall we? Before I absolutely just go right into the palette, um, I'm really good at 
like missing important steps. I need to get a color to pack all over my lids. I'm gonna go into um, my Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. Let's do pre-game. It's a little bit more of a yellowy base, but I feel like that will actually look better. And I'm just put, I'm just packing the primer down with that color. Now we can finally get into this palette. I gotta find a good transition color. Not totally sure which one I wanna do. I just, I, my eye keeps getting drawn to this pink here, you guys. I feel like this is what I'm gonna use as my transition. So, I just have a little bit more of a, a spread out fluffy brush. Good for a transition color. A Little bit of fallout, but you can tell a lot of color has come off. Holy pigmented, wow. So I'm really just concentrating on getting this in the crease and just blended right around the crease. Wow. I can't believe that was just one pass with that color. Kind of thinking about doing a halo or sometimes it's referred to as like a spotlight smoky eye. You guys, I'm beyond impressed with the pigmentation and the blendability of this palette so far, even just with that one color. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but wow, really love that. Okay, now I need a good color to go on the inner corner and outer corner and having both of them just barely smoking into the crease, not meeting entirely, but um Gosh, what color should I use for that? It needs to be a little bit darker. I'm thinking for that, I should just do this red color right at the very end here. So for that, I'm gonna go in with this Glamour Dolls crease brush because I need one that is um, a little bit more confined but can still blend pretty well. Pigmentation is incredible again. So just concentrating on this outer corner and then this inner corner. And going back in with that fluffy brush from our transition color. We just want to blend those without doing too much to like bring them too far into the crease. And this color, the only thing I'll say about this color is it's not quite as red as it looks in the palette. It's actually a little bit more pink, which is fine with me because my transition color was kind of that um, really florally pink. So it works well, but if I were really looking for a red, I would say that would have been a little disappointing. Now we need one color that's just a little bit darker than the one that we uh, just put on, on the inner and outer corner. So I think for that, I think I wanna do kind of like a crazy, this purple. I mean, this purple isn't necessarily darker, but I think this blended out well. So I wanna do this purple right here, and if I need to go in with a few layers or coats of it to really make it, I mean, look at that. As dark as I want, I'm willing to do that. Wow, holy moly. Let's blend a lot, guys. I ordered the subculture palette, you guys. I held out really, I mean, I was ready to order it the very first day it launched. So the fact that I waited, what, like almost two weeks really, really meant something. I, but I saw so many mixed reviews on it that I was just like, I'm gonna have to kind of do my own judging and do my own testing and see what I think, so. Look for that review and demo to come soon. Good or bad, I'm gonna do it. So now we need, well, before I do the under eye color, we're gonna definitely finish our face makeup. So all I will do right now is finish up my lid. And what I'm gonna do with that is just put a smidge of concealer and I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Just put a little bit of that 
I really just like that much. And blend it into my lid because with the halo or the spotlight smoky, your lid, the, the majority of your lid should be pretty bright still. And I lost a little bit of it with all of those crazy pigmented colors, but that's fine. We can fix it. So now for the lighter color, I am gonna go into one of my regular palettes. I'm not gonna ooh, do one from that. I don't know if a gold is gonna look good on top of this. I'm a little worried at what a gold will look like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do Vermeer on top of it. I think I'm a little too worried about what gold might look like. So I'm gonna just pack Vermeer right on top of that that we just did. And you don't wanna go too far into the inner or outer corners. We're gonna blend. Oh, let me zoom you in so you can see what's going on. Okay, so. Got that blended pretty nicely. All right. This pink matches with my hair a little bit. All right, so now I can finally get into these drops. It is an eyedropper, but I think I'll probably just, ooh, they're really liquidy, like I said. So I'm just gonna do them in sections. I have no idea if this is gonna be enough or too much. Okay, so that was not enough at all. <laughs> That's fine, I'd rather have not enough than too much. Okay, so I'm a little quiet at the moment. I think it's because I'm trying to determine if the fact that I'm not really seeing too much payoff is the fact that it's soaked up this much in the sponge or if it's actually the makeup. What I like is that the makeup feels pretty dry already. I'm gonna go and soak my sponge a little bit and see if that helps. All right, so I ran the sponge underwater And now I'm getting a little bit dried off better. I don't know, you guys. I'm, I think the color is right. I think I got the color right in my color matching. But I wonder if this just needs like a ridiculous amount before it shows up as any type of full coverage. Okay, that's a little bit better. I think it just, I think the, my sponge literally was soaking up all of the product. So now that I'm looking at it, it's actually pretty nice. Um, again, for a drugstore foundation, I am not upset at all. I'm putting on a little bit more right on my cheek. I also expect to use quite a bit of this on this side of my face also. Just cause my cheek is where I tend to have the most redness. Okay. You know, I will say it's not, it's not bad. I do like it. However, it's not as full coverage as I typically like. Um, so I think considering I'm gonna be concealing and all that stuff, I'm fine with how it is right now. But if I weren't going to be doing kind of the heavy corrector stuff, like on a day-to-day, -day, it's probably better like a day-to-day -day type makeup. If you wanted something with a little bit more sheer coverage, my sponge is still picking up quite a bit of it, so that could be it too. But it's, it's not bad. I think it lays nicely. I think it applies well. Really not seeing any creasing like in my nose or anything. I think for a drugstore band, it's really, really good. That's what I think. That's what I think. So let's go ahead and conceal, which I'm not gonna forget to do this time. I can't believe I did that. Okay, next, let's go ahead and um, get some setting powder under all that. 
And I'm still gonna use my Kat Von D Locket powder and translucent. Still my favorite setting powder. I'll be honest, I don't know if I've tried a whole lot, but this has done pretty well. And I like that this sponge has a slant at the, the end of the tip there. I feel like it's really perfect for just putting that powder right under it to let it set for a minute. There is actually some powder. It's not really, I don't think it's considered a setting powder. It probably does some of the same things that a setting powder does, but it's by Charlotte Tilbury. And it's called the Flawless Finish Face Powder. I mean, Charlotte Tilbury is definitely a luxury brand because it's like really expensive. The powder is like 45 bucks, but I really want to try it. So that might be the next splurge item. All right, so let's start contouring. Right now I'm not, I'm getting just a little bit of extra product on the brush to blend this with, but I am gonna go over my full face with my Milk Chocolate Soleil. Never mind, I lied. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep using my um, Sculpt Powder just to finish off the bronzing job. If I use just a little, it'll be enough. And because I have rather pink eyes, that's a joke. I think I need to do a little monochromatic look to my cheeks, so I am actually gonna use blush today, which is not typical for me, as you'll know if you watch my videos. I'm not a blush person. All right, this is an old one from MAC. I have no idea the color. I mean, it's like I said, it's got, it's got little pieces kind of going everywhere, kind of old. Okay. Now let's do the highlighter. And I'm just using strobe powder from the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. Here's the best powder highlighter. All right, I think we are glowy enough. I don't often say that, okay. So let's finish up our eyes because these are just, I'm so excited to keep playing with this. I just love how it's working. Thinking blue, you guys, I keep going to this blue color. I'm gonna do blue. I look like I'm going to a gender reveal party. Is it a boy or a girl? All right, so um, let me get my fluffy brush right here. And I am going to just a little bit blend out that bottom. I don't have any product on it. If I need to get more product, I will. But if I can blend without putting more, considering they're super pigmented, that would probably be best. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take just a really flat definer brush and I'm gonna go in actually with that darker blue, right? We just did that one. I'm gonna do this one here and just put this right along the lash line because I wanna put my fake awake there on the water line. And I want it to have a nice dark color to stand out next to. So let's go ahead and do, like I said, my um, Fake Awake pencil. Alright. Mascara. I'm just gonna do my Lights Camera Lashes. Alright. Well, I have a little bit more getting ready to do because um, I'm not going to go out with my hair like this. So I'm going to do a little bit more getting ready and then I will be back to show you the end look. Okay guys. Um, so I just popped on my lashes after I did my hair and I'm still wearing um, those lashes from the bold face that are called good vibes only. They're really, really nice. You guys, I like them a lot. Let's wrap this up and finish it up with the lips. All right. So I'm just going to line my lips with sinker suede. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite colors and lip pencils. And then for the actual color of my lips, I am going to use this kind of tinted lip moisturizer from Bare Minerals in the color Sugar. And it deposits a lot of pigment. 
I'm like the perfect nude color. I love it. So there you guys, looks done. I hope you enjoyed it. I love the way that this bright eye turned out. This palette, you guys, is phenomenal, okay? I I really like was giving myself credit feeling like I had graduated from drugstore brands. I'll tell you what, this is, drugstore brands are coming for you, luxury brands, you better watch out. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, but I'd love for you to join my subscriber family if you'd like to, and be sure to hit that notification bell if you subscribe so you know when I upload new videos. So thanks again so much, guys. Have a great day.